happening the whole stream. Everyone left. Just kidding. Everyone's still here. Everyone wants to see. Everyone wants. Everyone wants to see your tiny little local. Again, to the nine of you in the in the stream right now. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We're we're just a small Michigan scene trying to become a somewhat decent Michigan scene. So, because, oh, and I made someone leave. Oh, I'm. That's what I get for thanking up, thanking everyone. Anyway, we're getting into this losers match. It's gonna be Kuzin and Hojo. Kuzin, our resident Gardevoir, and Hojo, our resident Pikachu. So we'll see how this matchup goes. But what? Okay. Did anyone else see that? It looked like. It looked like Hojo was like right underneath Kuzin, and he got teleported way out, which was weird. All right, we got a solid bread and butter combo coming out from Hojo. Lots, lots of pressure coming out, but Kuzin able to break away from that. We got a solid combo. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. And then it looks like cool. Pool took it. Pool moves on, it looks like. Anyway. I think he's too far. Oh, no. I forgot. That actually travels pretty far. Oh. That was so close to KOing. And Kuzin is going to pull out his burst. So, Kuz Hojo has got to find a way to get it into break this zone. Oh. Uh, the, the counter attack cancel to grab is going to seal that. Oh, the score between you and a uh, profit. 2 1 profit? Man, what, 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 happened to, what happened to the Blastoise? What about the. Oh. Man. And now we got two friends fighting each other. The sad life. But I, then again, we do have nine people here. It's kind of hard to avoid that. Uh, well, our, our resident TO man, cool person, Pool, is unfortunately out. It's a tragic day in Pokin. It's all right. We got another bi weekly in two weeks. And we also got Showdown. Hey, if. Hey, if you're near the Michigan area or in the Midwest and you want to play Pokémon after Pokémon Nationals or you just can't make Pokémon Nationals in general, you should register for Showdown Battle Royale. Yeah. We'd love to have you out. It's a, it's going to be a Michigan It's going to be one of our bigger Pokémon events in Michigan. So again, we'd love to have you out. And oh, while it was promoting, uh, Hojo takes that round. I figured this would be a close set in general, because these two are pretty even. It's like, okay, gonna get hit by that little arrow of annoyance. And I like, I like the patience coming out from both of them. Kind of just waiting for whoever to make the first move. And we're gonna get a solid punish. Oh wow, I didn't know that was a thing. We got the burst coming out since Pikachu's burst comes out. Since it comes in handy like pretty quickly, it it fills up really quick. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. That's kind of the downfall of it. But what can you do? We got the burst coming out, and that is going to hit, but it... No! Oh, it's because he got hit by Fire Fang. Oh, and that does it. Hojo clutches it out. Clutches out that first match. Ooh. That was very close. Yeah, that was very... That was very clutch as a... It's very close to that Fire Fang to come out and stop Garbar from going into uh, the animation of her burst. Because I would have got it for 
for uh, Kuzan. But he's going to think things over. Go for some possible uh, counter pick supports. So here we go. And what? Okay, did anyone see that? I guess that was just a really weird camera change. But we got Hojo, got some decent control pressure going right now. Trying to force counters to try, get Kuz into condition to try and get him off, get uh, Hojo off of him. All right, we got the solid bread and butter. And Hojo's got to mix up his Oki. He's kind of just going for grabs, expecting counters. Got the burst coming out. Get the health up. And he closes the... Oh, okay, that was all a whole bunch of weirdness. And that is going to seal it for Kuzik, because that grab does a lot of damage. Oh, like, seriously. Crazy amounts of damage. Who's it just playing the safe game? Trying to force options out of Hojo. But Hojo is not really budging. Just opting to stay back. And ooh, that counter is gonna beat out the thunder. But we got the We got the cute little uppercut from Pikachu. Double burst activation going on. And oh, the beans beating out the counter in. I, I don't know what that move's called. And the Rodom is gonna catch. Oh, they, I think that would have been a burst attack right there. Oh, the wake up burst is going to do a decent amount of damage. He's got to be careful of the wake up burst from Kuzan because he's still got a little bit. Oh, never mind. Oh, and he catches the counter. And wow, that doesn't kill. Here comes the fire fang. But Kuzan saying, get off me, bro. And oh, the, the tail whip is going to beat out the counter. Crazy. Craziness, indeed. But we got round two of game two going. This is game point for Hojo. If he wins this, he moves on. Oh, Kojo reacting with counter, but since Kuzan activated his counter first, his beat it out. It caused a counter pierce. The Fire Fang not going to get anything going because Kuzan was in the air. The Thunder trying to cause some pressure. Kuzan able to float away from it. Kuzan tried going out for the run of grab, but. Unfortunately, getting stuffed out by that little uppercut. And the lasers again beating the counter. And we got the guard of our burst coming out. But we got a solid bread and butter coming out. And more beautiful beams of beauty. Oh, who, uh, yep. That's going to do it. Kuzan snuffing out that Hojo was going to try and jump and escape the pressure. Who's just saying, nah, bro, catch this laser. So we got a game three situation going on here. Okay. Yep. What is Kuzan going for here? It's okay. Uh, it's looking good. Looking very good. 
Where, just why I wanted to catch up losers a little bit. I'm gonna have me and I don't even know next. And then I think we have enough time to do top six on stream. I think. If you think. Case. All right, we'll figure it out. That's true, that's true. Okay. We'll get it figured out after this. Anyway, game three. Got the bread and butter. The wall gonna get add 30 more damage. Oh dear, the stunning lasers of pain. Oh, and I, I do not know any of the names of these moves, so I apologize for just, oh, excuse me. Ooh. Using the burst to kind of get around, and that's it. The clean bread and butter coming out from Hojo. Just going for the good clean damage. I would love to see Hojo get more combos going, because Pikachu's got a lot of combo potential from what I've seen. The run of grab, gonna force dual phase. And Hojo is right in front of Kuzin, so that's a lot of pressure, a lot of good pressure. A lot of wall splats. And that's safe on block, too. That tail whip down, that's safe. That's such an annoyance. You just like have to respect it. And the homing attack, gonna do a lot. The burst coming in. Hojo just running up running with the momentum right now, and that's it. Hojo just, wow, he just went crazy. He knew that he had the advantage the whole time, and he just ran with it. So Hojo taking a 2-1 over Kuzin, and 